Hi, my name is Wayne Turner. Uh, I live in Riverside, Ohio, near the Air Force Museum. And uh, I've been a Munch Jet Nut for about 20 years or more. And um, I originally saw a photo of one in a magazine somewhere in the early 80s. It's like around 82 or 3. I said, i got to have a Munch Jet. So then I started looking high and low. And it took me like five years to find one. And then after that, I've been able to find three more Munch Jets. So I'm, I guess I'm the Munch Jet King of Ohio. It's a really exciting car to drive in my opinion because it's got step-down styling, which is kind of similar to the Hudson. An early 50s Hudson is quite an exciting car to drive. It, it's not glued to the road. And this car is probably in that same category. Possibly the best cars of that, their era for road handling. They're kind of, kind of a treasure because with just two, fewer than 200 built, the survival rate due to Carson tops leaking, uh, a lot of them got rusted out and everything. So. That's a car to appreciate, just seeing them around 60 years later. Uh, the survivors are probably like 75 to 100. This one here has uh, the uh, Lincoln flathead. Uh, we find it's a real nice engine. It has the General Motors hydromatic, which actually Lincoln used that hydromatic from GM in their top car, the, Ford, the top Ford, which is Lincoln. And that's an interesting fact that a lot of people don't realize, is that they were using General Motors hydromatic transmission. My name's Wayne, my wife Kay. You're watching The Hub, and we enjoyed uh, talking with you. This segment on Hub TV is brought to you by Indigo Classic Cars, the collector's dealer. For more information on their collection, visit indigoclassiccars.com.